It's awesome. So good. You've got Polaris, now you've got a Juno. What a great record. What a great record. And did you go into it thinking it was going to be such a momentous uh, piece of art? I didn't even think about it. You know, that's the funny thing about it. Like, I was just pretty much making music like that. And it's funny that, you know, it went this far to be, you know, the electronic music album. I mean, album of the year. So it's awesome. It was great when it started because we saw the title come up. So we got this TV that's playing what's happening in the other room. And mm -hmm. it said electronic uh, album of the year. And then Aaron Pritchett came up and, and we were like, did someone who, did a guy in a cowboy hat just win electronic <laughs> album of the year? Like, right. That doesn't seem quite, quite right. And then like you emerged from the fog and we were like, okay, that like scans much better. True, true. What's you know. been the weirdest part of, you know, obviously, yeah, you, you didn't make this record with accolades and awards in mind, but, you know, a lot of stuff has now been happening over the last year. What's been the weirdest piece of success that you didn't predict? Where you were like, oh, I didn't think a guy in a cowboy hat would be handing me an award. Oh, uh, man. You know, even that, you know, the, the, guy, the, the, the guy in the cowboy hat would respect give me, I, I mean, all due respect, you yeah. know, I didn't met, I, I didn't, you know, even think about, even think about even winning the the award, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty crazy, you know, because you know there's a lot of like good nominations in there, and you know, and after even after what happened last year, I was like, you know, this whole controversial thing about me disrespecting the Junos, and it was really bad, you know. But now it's really awesome that he chose me, so I'm really feel honored about that. So that's why it was like kind of like a weird moment about that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. the Junos forgives and forgets, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, I did, I did the same. I did the same. So it was pretty much the same uh, vibe I gave them. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about the importance of collaborators because you work so tightly with so many different people on your record. Um, when you went into the creation of the album, did you have, you know, people who were on your like who you didn't know, who you had on your like I hope to work with this person list? Um, in some ways, yeah. You know, I always wanted to work with Anderson Pack, which is like a good friend of mine as well, and. You know, it's funny that, you know, I get to, you know, do a lot of shows with him and do a lot of collaborations with him. And, you know, even Sid, you know, on the album and so many other people. Craig David, you know, that's like legendary. You know, I grew yeah, I up listening like to Craig David, so. A lot of people <laughs> think that you're, you're bringing him back. Like that you, mean, were bring, you brought Craig David back. I mean, some way, I don't want to say that. Like, I don't want to say that. Yeah. But <laughs> Everybody else is saying it. You're like the Queen Tarantino of, like, well, you know. Well, you know, yeah. like, I don't know. Like, the thing is, like, I wanted to you know, doing a classic R&B joint, and, you know, I wanted to bring, like, that first album, Craig David, mm -hmm. back in some ways. You know, I know he's on some, some, yeah, yeah, yeah the, the Born to Do It album. Yeah, yeah. That, but it's, it's funny, because he did kind of fade into obscurity, in particular North America, after that record. And yeah. once that jam came out, everyone was like, hey, Trinata, Craig David, yeah. he's around. I mean, especially in, in America. I, I know yeah. he was doing this thing in the UK, so, like, but in Baby in America, like, it was, mm -hmm. like, kind of, like, the only album that they gave us the taste of who he was. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like I brought him back <laughs> to, you know, the world in some ways because it was only UK. His stuff is only pr pretty much UK exclusive. Yeah. So, yeah. I know, I know that you dropped a T-Boz reference on Twitter. And mm -hmm. I was wondering, I'm like, maybe he'll collab. I feel like your list of collaborators is also so vast. I'm like, maybe T-Boz. Oh, maybe. Maybe one day I would love to. But, mm -hmm. you know, I love T-Boz, you know. Mm -hmm. I really want to dance like T-Boz. She's very fly. <laughs> um, when it came to creating this record, um, you were in a different place in your career than you are now. Mm. When you make and work on your next album, are you going to go back to doing the same process? Uh, maybe, maybe. Now that I have like um, sort of a more, I guess, popularity mm -hmm. in some ways, and I can, you know, go to LA and just start working with other people and yeah. and stuff like that. You know, I'm definitely gonna take that. You know to do even more c better music you know mm -hmm. at the time it was only like the basement and pretty much me being introvert and not trying to travel to just make music or to collaborate with other people not trying to be in the studio because i was pretty much doing the whole album mm -hmm. in my mom's basement so i was pretty much my creative uh vibe was there mm -hmm. in the basement so I, I i tried to stay there pretty much for this album but now it's going to be more um, You're leaving the basement. I'm leaving the basement <laughs> this time. Definitely going to do uh, more overseas and stuff like that. So okay. it's going to be nice. Okay, we'll be listening. Yeah. You talked about working with Sid. I just want to talk about the Sid record, which is like the best record right now. Yeah. Are you stoked on that record? I love that record. It's so It brings good. back like uh, Aaliyah Timbo vibes. You know? Yeah. Like, 
and it's definitely like you know we needed that type of music yeah. in 2017. It is on like constantly. It's like my wife's favorite album, and I've come home like every day for the last like just two weeks to like only that album playing on a loop. I don't think anything else has been on in my home for a That's while. Dope. It's a good record. Yeah, it's a good record. You yeah. know, I'm very happy for it. So if you can tell her that is what I'm saying. You could like <laughs> yeah. text her or whatever. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, I'll, I could text her and say, yeah. The guy from Juno TV is like, <laughs> stoked? That would be cool. <laughs> He's stoked. Like, he album, you know? It would mean a lot to me personally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you think you were going to win tonight? Um, no, I didn't think I was going to win. You know, yeah. there's, you know, Chop Call Red, they did their thing. So I really thought they were going to win and mm -hmm. other people like that. And it's, it's crazy. So and the fact that it's... It's me at the end. Of, it's me at the end of the day, who won. It, I didn't. I was not prepared for the speech at all. I take my family first, you know. So it's kind of funny. They're yeah. the important ones. Yeah. Did you uh, Did you have a chance to call anyone or text anyone immediately? Yeah, I had a chance to, like in between interviews and stuff okay. like that. I feel so. like we used to steal you right off the stage. We're like, yeah. we need to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. We're like, I was like, okay, what do I do now? Okay, I gotta go walk there. Okay, okay, I'll go. You know, but it's very cool. It's a good. It's a good experience. Yeah. Well, we uh, thank you so much for, for coming, and we are so grateful that you took the time, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Awesome, man. Congrats. Yes. And we have a candy bar, which I believe people will see a star wipe to, and there's a great graphic. You're not going to see it, but there's like this delightful like candy bar <laughs> graphic. Uh, Appreciate so it. fill your pockets if you want them, and there's a yeah. guest book thank as you. well. You know what? I'm, like, I'm not a big fan of candy. I only like gummy bears. I'm not a big Oh, we like, have uh, but, There's gummy but, bears. There's gummy bears. <laughs> oh, you don't? You all, I mean, you I'm also just, don't just have to you have a little, any candy. Oh, it's just a weird fact about me. That's yeah. a weird one, yeah. <laughs> don't feel like you need to eat yeah, candy, no, like, just no for pressure. us. But, yeah. but there are gummy bears. But I appreciate the offer, you know. I'm going to go there <laughs> and try it. I mean, You're you a really lovely guest. You're yeah, so lovely. Thank you. Thank you. So don't really like candy, but thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you know. God's respectful. Well, how are you going to, actually, before you go, though, how are you going to celebrate? I'm going to celebrate. I probably got this after party, you know, junction or something like that. If you want to come through, come through. It's going to go down okay. at the junction. Yeah. I'll practice my T-Boss moves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll probably do a, collab a choreography together. Okay. Mm. I'll try. I, I, I love your, the video with the robot. Man, I've watched that forever. I tried to do the choreography by yeah. myself, and it was terrible. Oh, my God. I need help. It's, it's, a, lot of, it's a lot of effort. It's so good. Yeah. Thank you okay. very much. <laughs> it's so good. All right. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your night and Juno's weekend.